Welcome back, Duelists. Casual Duelist here. And uh, we're going to get back to some of the Blazing Vortex updates, because uh, I did say that there were still a couple of those I wanted to do. And one of those was the Live Slash Evil Twins deck. So real quick, let me get you guys a main deck list. So uh, I am using three copies of Ash Blossom. I do have Dark Magician, three copies of Effect Veiler. We are going to be running three copies of the Evil Twins, Kiskel and Lilla. Uh, we do have three copies of Live Twin Kiskel, uh, three copies Live Twin Lilla, uh, three of the brand new Live Twin Lilla Treat, which by the way has even crazier cartoony uh, artwork, and I gotta I gotta say I love this little like almost anime ish, puffy Amiumi style of art here. That's pretty cool. Uh, and to wrap up the monsters, the one copy of Red Eyes Black Dragon, but you guys knew that was coming. Spells, I'm going to be using one Called by the Grave, one Foolish Burial, one Harpy's Feather Duster, three copies of Live Twin Channel, uh, three copies of Live Twin Home, Monster Reborn, Raigakai, one copy Red Eyes Fusion, three copies of Secret Password. Moving over to the traps, I did like the, uh, the uh, trap card Evil Twin GG Easy at two, and Solemn Strike at three. Moving on to the extra deck, and I know the first card is no surprise, uh, we got the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, a single copy, uh, because we are able to build links very crazily rapidly in this build. Uh, we do run one Boral Load and one Boral Sword Dragon. Uh, we are also going to be running three copies of Evil Twin Kiskel and three co uh, copies of the Evil Twin Lilla. Uh, we will have the one copy of IP Mascarena. Uh, we will be using Nightmare Cerberus, we have Phoenix, and of course Unicorn. We do need the one Predator Plant for Anaconda because it, this deck, again, we can just rapidly make Dragoon on the first turn. And, of course, we want Salamangrate Al Mirage at a single. Now, for everybody that's here, for just a deck list, hold on for half a second. I know that not everybody can afford Dragoon, which means you guys will have two extra spots in the extra deck. Please, let me know what you guys would use. And, of course, if you're not going to be running that... You might also run the Signet Mining. Uh, Signet Mining will allow you to, of course, send one card from your hand to the graveyard to add a level 4 lower Cybers monster from the deck to the hand. Uh, you're only allowed to activate one of these in a turn. But real quick, just real quick, the, uh, the, the actual combo starters are both Cybers, uh, level 2s. So this is another great way to manage it. Again, there's a bit of interplay between light and dark, especially with the additions of the uh, effect failures. Maybe add in Chaos Dragon Leviathan, just an extra little boss power. Uh, Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning is another great option here. Um, and of course, you don't always have to play the field spell at three, so you could start sneaking Signet Minings in there. Even if you did have the money for Dragoon and you were able to afford that. Uh, now that I've put you through all that... Uh, let me take two seconds and thank you for sticking around, watching the deck list. Um, again, if this kind of video helps you, please feel free to leave me a subscription. Uh, much more importantly, I would like it if you could just tell your friends about the channel, because that's been doing crazy good lately. And uh, the most important part, I want you guys to have a great day. Uh, class dismissed. You guys, seriously, go watch another video. This is YouTube. There's plenty. Uh, I've been watching... Cars sliding because winter weather. Um, it's weird. Um, so back to the discussion about like what does what, what to what to do. Again, I'm going to say this all the time. Ash Blossom, one of the best hand traps. Uh, Dark Magician is needed for Dragoon. Effect Veiler is another one of the best hand traps. Another thing you could do if you're going to run all uh, run both of these at six or at threes, uh, you could also back these down to two. A lot of, again, you could add in uh, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Uh, essentially, the same effect as Ash Blossom, where Ash Blossom discards when your opponent goes to uh, add a card from deck to hand, or special summon from the deck, or send a card from the deck to the graveyard. The uh, Ghost Bell will do the equal yet opposite for the graveyard. So when your opponent goes to special summon from the graveyard, add a card from the graveyard to the hand, or add a card from the graveyard back to the deck. And uh, Goose Bell is actually becoming more and more relevant. And I see by like mid, I don't know, maybe June, uh, April, June time frame, 
uh, we're going to start seeing a big spike in that card being played. Right now, I value Ash Blossom and Effect Veiler over it, but uh, Ghost Spell's time is coming, guys. So just be aware of that. Uh, moving over to the actual archetype now, we do have the Evil Twins, Kiskel and Lilla. Um, this is actually the boss monster of the deck. The boss monster doesn't lie in the extra deck this time, uh, which is a very different thing for this time period in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this card is an 8-star. If I could have found some better 8-stars to do uh, something with this, another great use for her would be using her for trade-in. Um, and first off, let's just get to the effect, and you'll understand why. Uh, this card can never be normal summoned or set, and must be special summoned from either the hand or the graveyard. And the method in which you'll do that is by tributing two Link Monsters. Now, it doesn't have to be their Link Monsters. It just so happens that their Link Monsters are a one-card combination that allows you to start with any card that either adds Kiskel or Lilla to your hand, and this, and you can play this. So, it's complicated. I'll show you at the end. Um, if this card is Special Summoned, you can activate the following effect. If your opponent controls three or more cards, they got to send cards from the field to the graveyard until they only have two. Uh, I believe that's similar to the trap card evenly matched. Um, kind of surprised that that wasn't in the last structure deck, uh, only because the structure decks have been so value heavy lately. Uh, if you do want to see that structure deck, that is on the, cha on, on the channel. Uh, my wife handled the $30 deck challenge build, and then I handled the competitive um, the last effect of this, um, as long as you have Evil Twins, Kiskel, and Lilla, uh, if you have a Kiskel monster in the graveyard and a Lilla monster in the graveyard, this card actually doubles over its stats. It gains an extra 22 by 22, and that'll make this card 44 by 44, much bigger than the Ancient Egyptian Gods, much better than Obelisk, the Tormentor, and, uh, that's kind of crazy for a two-card combo. Okay, your live twin Kiskel. Uh, each time your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can gain 500 life points. And Lilla says when your opponent uh, declares an attack, they have to pay 500 life points to do it. So they do try to stay around a little bit better. But it's the following effect that they share, and all they do is switch out the names. So Lilla, uh, you can special, or sorry. If this card is normal or special summoned and you control no other monsters, you can special summon one Kiskel monster from your hand or deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. And Kiskel says the exact same thing for Lilla. So that is important because you'll play one, play the other, and then go into your links. Um, and the Lilla treat, the brand new one, is actually a great extender for this deck. So as long as you control the opposite character, if you have any character that says Kiskel in the name, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon this card or cards with this name once per turn this way. And when either player takes any damage from a battle involving an evil twins monster, we can banish this card in the graveyard and target a face-up monster our opponent controls, and it will lose attack equal to the battle damage. And again, you can only use this uh, once per turn, but this is a fantastic way of being able to press for a little bit more game. Um, and again, it, it's kind of super searchable, and we'll show you that here in a second. Uh, just not as much so as the Cybers cards that are searchable through Cynet Mining. And again, uh, if you want to budget down the deck a little bit, do you want to remove Dragoon? Uh, this would be the, uh, the first move I would make is taking out the uh, main deck Dragoon support for the sign at minings. Um, but Lilla Treat, great, great tech. Uh, and again, Red Eyes, you just sort of need them for the Red Eyes Fusion for the Dragoon. Uh, Called by the Grave, we're going to go ahead, stop a uh, hand trap with it. Uh, Foolish Burial, again, we can put the Evil Twins, Kiskel, and Lilla immediately into the discard pile, uh, which will allow us to uh, still be able to play it, uh, but play it faster. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster kind of needs no real... Uh, explanation we just want to stop our opponent from having uh, a back row when we want to go off with our move another option that you might uh, switch out for the sign at minings is their field spell live twin channel however this is also really searchable and that's the reason we didn't need terraforming um, the way this one works when a monster declares an attack you contribute one kiskel or mo one lilla monster negate the attack that one's not as important uh, during the end phase 
You can target one Kiskel or Lela monster in your graveyard and shuffle it back into your deck. Or if you control no monsters at the time, you can add it back to your hand instead. You can only use each effect once per turn. That second effect either reloads our deck for another outstanding play where we, all we got to do is draw one, play one, get the other one, and start the link summonings again, or uh, whatever you like. And again, we can link build this way into the turn three, the turn four, uh, mid and late game. So, yeah, you could always uh, lower the counts if you like. I, I just went with three this time. <clears throat> the uh, quick play spell, Live Twin Home. Uh, a good solid three here. Uh, this uh, this uh, card says to discard one card, special summon one Kiskel or Lilla Monster from our deck, which means we get to retain our normal summon. Um, so what you'll do is you'll just immediately be able to, again, drop the Evil Twins Kiskel Lilla and summon one of them and just immediately go into loop. Uh, also, for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you not special summon monsters from the extra deck except Evil Twins. That's a little bit of a downfall, but it's not bad. It, it really does allow us to get all the plays off, um, and it's fine. Monster Reborn, Great Extender, Ragakai, Destroy Their Monster Board, Red Eyes Fusion, something that we can utilize on turn one uh, fairly consistently. Uh, their tech card, Secret Password, so... With this one, we can add a live twin or evil twin spell trap from the deck to the hand. This allows us to get uh, our continuous trap. Uh, it allows us to get the uh, the channel, the field spell, the uh, quick play for summoning the, the twin home. Uh, this really does set off a lot of the combos again. Uh, however, if you control a Kiskel and a Lilla... You can add one evil twins monster from the deck to the hand instead. Now it's you can. You don't have to, obviously. You can't add the same name spell uh, from your deck to your hand. And uh, you can only activate one of these per turn. But uh, if you've already got the loop and you're just missing the boss monster, uh, at some point while you still have both names on board, you'll just go ahead and activate this spell in the middle. Go ahead and grab the boss monster and be able to continue playing. Uh, for the traps, uh, I did favor the GG uh, Easy. Uh, the way that this works is you contribute one Kiskel or Lilla, then activate one of the following effects. First effect, you can target one Kiskel monster or one Lilla monster you control. It gains attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster until the end of this turn. That's okay. That's pretty meh. The second effect is the reason it's in the deck. When a card or effect is activated that would destroy a card or cards on the field, you can negate the effect. Uh, you can use this effect only once per turn. And again, perfect. I love anything that gives a deck more control, especially something as temperamental as this build. And again, Solemn Strikes. We want to get rid of the special summons, and we want to dampen monster effects to be able to play through hand traps that our opponent has. Uh, so that's a 40-card main build. Going over to the 15-card extra deck. Uh, I think everybody knows Dragoon at this point and knows why he's so expensive. Uh, but we're going to use it off the uh, part of Plant Verde Anaconda. Uh, and again, first turn, like every game, we're going to be able to uh, to just do what we need to do there. Uh, so, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Neither player can target this card with card effects. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do inflict damage equal to that monster's original attack, that is an effect that can be used a number of times equal to the number of normal type monster cards that you use this material. We're going to be using two. Um, once per turn when a card or effect is activated quick effect you can discard one card and negate the activation and if you do destroy the card and if you manage to destroy the card the card this card actually gains a permanent 1000 and uh, that will be every time he uh, performs that form of negation this is why dragoon is a useful tool uh, and not really a centerpiece um, but again we you could uh, simply just play this first turn every time uh, it's fine. Uh, we do have the Boral Load and Boral Sword Dragons as they do allow us to overpower the opponents a bit. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the Evil Twins now. We're going to start with Kiskel because these, uh, again, they've, they've almost marry each other. There is a reason to choose to play one first over the other, though. So, <clears throat> the first one, or both of them, they both need two monsters, including one that has their own name in it. Um... Additionally, if we play the Evil Twin Kiskel, if this is special summoned and you control one Lilla monster, you can draw a card. So if you want to draw a card after you do the uh, loop, 
you want to make sure that you go to Lilla first so that you play Kiskel second and then Lilla will be on the field. Um, do, 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 do. If you do not control a Lilla monster as a quick effect, you can special summon one Lilla monster in the graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Fiend. Uh, you can use each effect once per turn, and that's the once per turn that we're worried about. Um, and with Lilla, we have all the same effects, literally, except if this one is special summoned and you control Kiskel, then you can target a card on the field and destroy it. So if you want to destroy, what you'll do is you'll play one girl to play the other on the two stars. You'll go to Kiskel. Uh, Kiskel will bring back the small two-star Lilla. Then you will link over into Lilla and bring back Kiskel, and that'll allow you to do the draw card. If you wanted to go the other way, you just make sure that you play the Kiskel first so that you end on Lilla. So it's just, you just gotta, you know, make sense of that. I'm sorry. There's a better way to explain it. I just, I think I did it, but I'm confusing myself because it, it is complicated at first. Um, but you want to make sure that you, uh, the one that you want the effect needs to be the first one played so that when the other one brings it back and it is special summoned as the last card in the loop, then you get the effect. So you either get to destroy or draw. That's better. IP Masquerina, we can mess around on our opponent's turn. And again, we can do this fairly easily. Uh, we do have the Nightmares. And luckily for us, they are all Fiends which means we do not lock ourselves out of our entire extra deck on turns where we're doing that. And you guys know the, the routine of why they're here. Prior to Plant, Vert, Anaconda is here. Again, we can uh, autonomously just go straight into two monster combo anytime we want, which will allow us to play the Vert Anaconda. Uh, and again, target a face-up monster card on the field. It could become dark and at the end of the turn, uh, until the end of the turn, the part we're looking for is Pay 2,000 life points, send a fusion or polymerization, red eyes fusion, uh, from the deck to the graveyard. Um, the, the, the rest of this effect becomes that spell's effect when that card is activated. And you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. Uh, and again, that is after the fusion summoning. So again, we're going to use the red eyes fusion, which allows us to send red eyes and dark magician from the deck. Um, as long as we're playing a red eyes card, which will be the red eyes dragoon. Um, and then there's just Al Mirage. Uh, he just requires one normal summon monster with a thousand or less attack points. Uh, and as a quick effect, you contribute this card, then target a monster you, yeah, that you control. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent card effects this turn. When a normal mon uh, normal summon monster you control is destroyed by battle, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card back. And you can only use that effect once per turn. And again, with all of our hand traps being uh, suitable for this, and additionally, uh, all of the live twins are very suitable for it as well. Um, it does it does come up. It doesn't come up as often as you'd think. Um, because again, mid-game, you can get a lot of crazy summons going. Um, just real quick, I do want to I do want to do a test hand. I do want to shuffle this. Uh, it'd be easy for me to just fake it and show the combo, but uh, one of the things during the playtest era was that this deck was actually not terrible at pulling all of the things that it needed. Um, the only problem is I get like maybe a minute to shuffle, and usually during playtesting we shuffle the deck about 20 or so times uh, before we actually start. Just different people... Uh, I know it sounds weird. We, we use the different shuffles that everybody here does. And um, yeah, it's just we, we get a much better mix. And on the videos, sometimes it stalls during this portion. So I get why people who have the ability to edit their videos do. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for you guys. And again, uh, you wouldn't have to hear me chatter about it. I think we're about good. So let's get us a test hand. Okay, so there's Kiskel. And, okay, so we immediately have the ability to go into our boss monster, um, which is fine. We have the Red-Eyes Fusion, um, which, again, is fine, too. Uh, it's just unfortunate that you have to choose for one or the other. 
because I'm not allowed to summon in the turn that I use the Red Eyes Fusion. Um, so let's just go through the play. So you want to summon uh, Kiskel. And again, this will allow us to grab Lilla. So do, 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 do. There we go. There's one. Might have passed one. I'm not sure. <sighs> okay, so you got that. Let's go for the draw. So in order to do the draw, I need to go to Kiskel first. And now the Kiskel's around, we need to play Lela. And now that we have that, we're going to use this as a one and use this as a one. This will allow us to go into Lila. And now again, we don't have any uh, Kiskel monsters, so we can go ahead, we can play Kiskel. And now I can use the effect to draw one from the shuffle deck. Monster Reborn. Great. Um, and then, of course, we can tribute those and go into that version of our character, still allowing us to have our Solemn Strike in the back row. And next turn, we are definitely free to go into Dragoon. We have Monster Reborn, uh, which means we can immediately just bring one of these back to summon the other one back out of the discard pile. Again, I think we'll be locked into Fiends since we did that. Um, so what we could end, end up doing with those is we'd actually go into Unicorn. So again, if you don't want to play Dragoon, I might even suggest upping the, uh, the, the numbers on Unicorn and maybe even going to like a two or even a three because of just how rapidly you can develop, uh, Kiskel and Lilla together. And again, I mean, it's just going to cost me a Monster Reborn to do it. Uh, again, we would be able to, uh, utilize this right here, the, the live twin home. And again, we didn't draw yet, uh, so the next turn we would have the Ash Blossom as our actual natural draw. And uh, that is a test hand for this. So this is sort of like in a mid-range, like, rogue era area, sorry. Um, it's really fun to play, and uh, they're kind of cool, like, anime girls, uh, YouTube turn thieves. I mean, just check out the artwork, you'll get what I'm saying. Uh, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching this. I'm glad that we were able to keep this even a little shorter than usual, shorter than it's been. Um, you guys do me one favor and have just a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys with the next video, all right? Later.